the pace already. He's already started his lap and he comes on to the main straight to get it underway. We can see he was warming up his tyres, uh, gradually working up the pace and he's uh, gone for the flying uh, exit in terms of his warm-up lap. And now he's pressing on as hard as he can. He has nailed the opening uh, few corners in the 370Z, running wide ever so slightly, using as much track as he's allowed to do so. And he's got that car beautifully under control. Brings it up onto the kerb on the right-hand side. You want to turn in nice and early here, and you can see there that demonstration of cutting across the ripple strip before running it wide as he possibly can to open up the exit, maximising as much speed as you can uh, get in that short straight. Uh, and then scrubbing off as much pace as you're willing to coming into the sweeping long hander at turn six and then deep under brakes going into turn seven. Bell, beautiful over the curbs there. That car is wonderfully balanced. It looks pretty steady and I'm sure he's out there driving as hard as he possibly can. A little bit of understeer there, but he's still uh, keeping it close to the apex around the tight right hander going into turn nine. And then coming on to the old back straight. So he's got three more turns left in this lap. And we don't have any uh, sector times to give you updated, but we'll keep an eye uh, on the overall times as this session unfolds. Absolutely nails turn 10 in terms of corner exit. Quickly coming up to turn 11. Still under control. He's wonderfully composed. Round turn 11, there's no mistakes there. Just one more turn before he comes onto the main straight to cap off the first flying lap in this top 10 shootout. The number 101 race pace motorsports Nissan 370Z comes across the line there and this will be our first benchmark time. It's a 1 minute 35.3. So that is a little bit off the pace that we saw in outright qualifying earlier this afternoon, but still a very clean and tidy lap.